Welcome to another installment of a little segment we like to call Better Know a Space Agency. This week we're looking at a little known entity called the Swedish National Space Board. The SNSB is a Swedish government agency operating under the Ministry of Industry, Employment and Communications, and they take care of all things relating to space for Sweden, but primarily research and development. Although the SNSB is part of the ESA, they also work independently on their own projects as well. The SNSB is like a research council for the ESA with a major focus on what they call Earth observation, which covers just about everything from ozone research to city planning. Other main areas of current space research for the SNSB are astronomy, space physics, atmospheric research, astrobiology, human spaceflight, and material sciences in microgravity. Part of the Swedish National Space Board is their satellite program that has been quite successful. Between 1986 and 2001, Sweden has developed six satellites, Viking, Freya, Astrid 1, Astrid 2, Odin and Munin, with two more already in the works. Although they do not currently launch or operate any of their satellites, they are still heavily involved in the maintenance of and information gathering of each of their birds. So how does all of this compare to one of the biggest space agencies? Well, while NASA spends just over $17 billion, the Swedish National Space Board spends around $100 million. Now, I know what you're thinking, but keep in mind that while NASA has about 300,000 people working for them, there are only 17 people who work for the SNSB. Nope, I did not stutter. 17 people. That's it. I'd say they're doing just fine. To learn more or to continue the conversation, please join us live every Friday morning at 2 a.m. Coordinated Universal Time or download additional podcasts like this one on the Space Vidcast YouTube channel or in high definition on iTunes.